In the last few years, he's led three wars and now he's hinting at a fourth one. He's been drumming up tensions. This time with all of Ethiopia's neighbors. It's Oromon Jara to Kolif Malif Garbome. How did the Oromos end up enslaved for over a hundred years? The Oromo are the largest ethnic group in Africa. Why were we enslaved and ruled by lowlifes and degenerates for so long? It's because we were not united as one. Abi's endless wars have utterly bankrupted Ethiopia, with over a million lives lost and $30 billion in destruction since he took power. But apparently, that's not enough. He's now actively seeking out more conflicts. He declared war one after the other. Wars do cost money, not just life. He's so cash-strapped and broke that he'll do whatever it takes to fund his pet projects, luxury resorts and continued bloodshed. What would you do if your country was constantly beset with turmoil? At the palace, 400 kilograms of gold was stored. It has now been transferred to the vaults of the National Bank of Ethiopia. Abi Ahmed disclosed in a parliament that approximately 400 kilograms of gold, previously stored at the historic Jubilee Palace in Addis Ababa, has been moved to the vaults of the National Bank of Ethiopia. This gold, collected over centuries, originated from Ethiopia's royal lineage of kings and emperors. Jubilee Palace is known to house a vast array of valuable treasures from Ethiopia's royal heritage. Abi previously displayed some of these items, including royal vehicles and gold artefacts. Analysts at Ethio Chronicles believe that due to soaring inflation and severe foreign currency shortages, the Prime Minister may be liquidating parts of these national treasures without anyone knowing. Africa is not for sale. We are independent from foreign states. Africans are jealous of their independence and sovereignty, no matter how wealthy. Let's shift our attention to Ethiopia. Nobel laureate Abiy Ahmed is getting isolated both at home and abroad. Is it? The estimated value of the 400 kilograms of gold alone is approximately $40 million at today's market value. His predecessors, despite facing financial crises, refrained from monetizing these assets, opting to preserve them as a part of Ethiopia's heritage. There is no transparency and accountability surrounding Ethiopia's royal treasures. No public audits or comprehensive documentation have been provided to clarify the exact quantity, status or handling of these assets under Abiy Ahmed's administration. Government-level corruption has reached an industrial scale at this point, raising concerns that some assets may have been entirely stolen without any trace. <laughs> 